So continuing on the, the thread of adding uh, activities or populating your plan in BIM 360 plan, we'll now show two other distinct ways to get information into the system. We click on the plus activity little uh, blue button here. We have two options. We have the add new activity option and the import activities option. So let's start at the add new activity. No mystery here. This simply calls up an individual modal window where we can enter an individual task, milestone, roadblock, delivery, or inspection into the system one at a time. Now the only thing that's required with a specific entry is the name and all the other information can be left uh, to the default. Uh, it does pick you as the uh, the person as well as the company you're tied to, but certainly if you're populating this uh, for your plan, uh, you would need to fill this out based on the actual parameters for this task. Um, in location structure, obviously, uh, the time date that you would actually have this finished by. So again, working from our last planner methodology, we start when we want to finish and work backwards. Additionally, uh, one of the things that um, we added is this availability to add the crew size. And again, this is a nice uh, way we'll show filtering in a later session so we can filter based on crew size for specific tasks. Work breakdown structure and a description, right? So we can actually filter on this description, in, again, as another filter agent, uh, and then a note. So if you have internal notes you want to add for specific tasks, roadblocks, deliveries, uh, milestones, etc., you can add those here. Just one note, they are not searchable or filterable uh, as a filter in the system. The next way we're going to show is the import. We get lots of discussions uh, how to get uh, Oracle P6 information into BIM 360 plan and this is a recommended workflow for that specific action. You can see here that uh, we have a couple things we can do. First of all we want to download the activity import template. I've already have uh, one downloaded. Um, we'll show you that. You can see it right here. So I have mine pre-filled out. Again the only thing that's required in this template is the actual activity name. And then you can see here all the other aspects uh, we could populate in our plan, uh, the specific um, information for the duration all the way through the notes, right? So we could actually complete every aspect for our, for our plan to get started by using this specific template. Now, once we actually upload this, so we'll actually select that file and there it is right there. And we hit import, a couple things to note here. The import process is extremely syntax sensitive, which means that in my uh, in my Excel file, if I have, for example, in one of the fields, um, character, space, character, or a space at the end of, uh, let's say, a list or at the end of a, a word, uh, the system will throw an error. And you'll see those errors, and I won't run this, but you'll see uh, a list of errors, but it gives you the region and the cell in your Excel sheet. So you can go back and fine tune those and, and remove those spaces on the end of words. Uh, the point is, uh, be, you know, be very careful when you're creating what's in your back end as far as all the location breakdowns, uh, the companies, make sure they're spelled correctly in your Excel worksheet so that when you do this import process, you don't get errors.